And hello again out there in YouTube land. I'm your host, Nord, and tonight we're in the Color Animal Instructionals. Uh, we're going to be um, importing a, a map into Roll20 uh, and trying to align it properly to the grid and uh, seeing what we get with that. So, with no further ado, first up, I'm always going to be create a new page. A whole bunch of different pages here, so I'm going to drag it forward. Make it nice and easy for us to get to. And we will call this today is the 23rd, so we'll call it 1123 And pop right over to the new map. And I'll like to zoom out. Get the whole screen on the screen. All right, so what map we're we going to use? Uh, I honestly don't know. I'm going to come into my uh, Pathfinder thing here. I got a folder for maps. And let's look around, see what we have. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I got all kinds of maps I found. Various places on the internet. Uh, sorry, folks, I don't know who made most of these at this point. So, see yours. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. It's a very nice thing for me to have. Hmm. Logging camp. Let's see what that's like. Yeah, it's not great, but I can work with that. So let's drag that in. One of the nice things about World 20 is you can just sort of drag your uh, image right onto the map in your hard drive. So I just switched back over to the, the map and background layer. And I'm just going to drag this right over. It'll just automatically upload. It'll take a few minutes. Well, not minutes. i got a nice connection. It'll take about half a minute. There you go. It pops up in a very reduced version of its regular size. It looks to be square. Uh, the background map is currently square already, so that's nice. And there we go, that's one way to do it. Let's go ahead and zoom in to 100%. Looks reasonably nice. Let's uh, zoom in to 200%. Yeah, that looks good. I do not see any obvious signs of a grid on this map. So we really don't have much of anything to do. Uh, I'll back out to 100% and you can see, well, let's, let's, let's drag some critters on here and see how they look relatively speaking. Let's drag some cobalt out. Uh, again, long layer. So let me move the map to the back. Grab these cobalts here. They look to be about the right, uh, right size. Get a token ran and follow them over there. There we go. Let's see. Maybe a little big. Compare them to maybe the bridge here. Eh, I don't know. I, I, would, I might even say that the bridge is. Uh... Ah, wait a minute. Here we go. What do we have here? Yeah, these look like some cows or something. So let's zoom way in on them. Oh, these are supposed to be tents. Alright, so this cobalt, he looks okay at first. Then compare him to the tents, and he's freaking huge. See if we can shrink him down, way down. And even that's still kind of big. Plus the, the name and everything. So it looks like we are going to need to do some surgery to this map to get it to fit uh, with the tokens that we're using and not have it look like incredibly tiny cows. So let's go back to the map layer, right click on the map, and go to advanced here, it's going to say set dimensions. 
Alright, so we're looking in pixels here, and it looks like it's currently at 1750 by 1750. Um, let's start with just a nice simple doubling it. So 1750 times 2 is 3500. And boom. The map has uh, expanded. Has it expanded enough? One of my tokens. Cobalt's still looking a little funky big there. He's like bigger than this cow. So let's go back to the map. Right click it. Set dimensions. And let's give it another 1750. So that's going to be 35, 45, 40, 750. Really, if they're both the same at this point, it really doesn't matter. As long as it stays a, a square, that's what we're looking for. Let's find that map. I can't really drag it up at the moment. It's already as far up as it can go. So we're going to now go to the page settings here. I started out at 25. We pretty much tripled this. So if I go 75 by 75, no, but we did a little more than tripling it, didn't we? Let's see. Uh, oh, this map, there we go. There's the deal. A little less than tripling it. So the easiest thing to do here is grab it and drag it out of its position. Now let's go back to 100%, see if we can find those cobalts. Where shall I leave them? They're going to be way up here somewhere. There's one. So the token layer. Actually, there's two. There's the other one. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I remember the cows are down here somewhere. A cow and some horses. And there we go. That looks a lot closer to the actual size that we want. The cobalt's relatively proportional to the cow. It's still a little big compared to the tents, though. So, you know, why not? Let's be, uh, let's be perfectionists with this. Okay, click and right click on the map. Advance, set dimensions, and probably another, what was it, 1750 to begin with. So 750 plus 250 is 6,000, plus 1,000 is 7,000. There we go, a little bigger. It's open's layer. Yeah, that's not perfect, but I can accept that. Roughly proportional to the, looks like a couple donkeys there. So it would fit fairly well on a horse. There we go. Just, uh, there we go. Looks about right. Size of a cow. Good enough. I don't know there being a, uh, yep, that little pier thing over here. So yeah, that looks better. It looks like some chains and maybe some rope or something. I don't know what that is. Well, there we go. That's more the size of a map that we're looking for. Let's zoom all the way out so you can see. Again, uh, you can see that the map is slightly off here. Let's see how much off. Yeah, looks like maybe, uh, well, logically, I guess it would be another 25. So let's make it 100. Uh, 100. Still off a little bit. Yeah, it looks about perfect. Looks like the right sides right there. Oh, looks to be off by one. Up here in the corner. 
Okay, so let's see exactly how far off it is. Let's make this 105. And this one 105. And hopefully we'll end up with some white. There we go. We can come down to the corner here and zoom all the way in. Get to the corner. One, two, three, four, and five is exactly the amount that we have left over. So I know the hundred was uh, what I was aiming for. Let's go back to that. There you go. We're all the way out. It's a nice ten percent. Get to see the whole thing. Coming in at a hundred percent. Get some nice detail on these trees and things. There's your little camp. Stuff happens. You might zoom out to that fifty percent. You want to see more of the immediate area. About thirty percent for a good wide view. Twenty percent starting to get pretty big, and well, twenty gets a little choppy uh, from the picture, almost, but not quite matches the, the frame here. Well, there you go. Ten percent for the whole eagle eye GM view thing. Can't really even see the, the cobalt down there. He's there. Somewhere. Oh, dang. I don't know, did I move him? I moved him, did I? Yeah, well, I'm sure he's there. Alright, so let's do this again, shall we? Let's create a new page. Go all the way, drag it forward again. We'll just call this Revenue 23 Part 2. There's again a brand new map. I like zooming out, but not that far. Let's look for something that's got its own grid on it, shall we? Uh, here's one that I made, so I already know how to work that, so I'm not going to. And I generally don't like maps that have their that come with a grid pre-made, but sometimes you just kind of have to. Now let's go with this Pirate Cove then. Zoom in here. Water needs to load up. Yeah, it's a little, fu little fuzzy. So about that's about as close as we'd want to get ever. And these look like horses, so this is probably not that great of a map as something else. Sorry, whoever made that. It's a good map. I'll use it, but not for what I'm trying to do right now. Here's the other mortuary does. I see some grid here. Let's see. Again. Could have been saved at a better resolution. Hmm. Too much cue. What's that? Ah, well, the quality is pretty good. It's got a nice solid grid to work with here, so let's go for that and see about getting that uh, set up and aligned. Uh, another thing is it's very uh, tall. Oops, so I put it on the wrong layer. It's on the tokens layer, so it's going to come up completely screwed up, which is good for a tutorial. No, no, I guess not. It still came up as a token, but at least it's the, the right shape and size. So let's put it over on the map layer. There we go. And I'm going to stretch it out until it fits the height. But I'm not going to be able to get the width. And see how it's coming up right here, kind of halfway between the lines? I don't like that. So it looks like about here, I put it right on that line and maintain the uh, the aspect ratio. So I don't want to stretch it too out of shape. Let's go in to 100%, and you can see how uh, the white lines, which is the roll 20, versus the dark black lines, which is on the map, do not align at all. 
I should have done this earlier because I'm going to select Pathfinder. Uh, backgrounds can stay white. I'm going to make the lines red so they're easier to see. There you go. Uh, actually, for those of you who are colorblind, that's probably worse, isn't it? What else can we do? Uh, bright blue, maybe, I think. Yeah, that would work. Alright, so, as you may remember from the previous video, what you want to do is, uh, you want to find a spot where you've got a nice grid to work with, like right here, nice open, nice open area. It looks like it's matching on this line. You can see how, let's see, right here, it matches up to the grid, and it gets off as you get further away. So let's go to advanced, go to align to grid, and again it says find a 3x3 three three grid, so map uh, background that you're using, click and drag, I'll get myself lined up here, and pixel off to the right a little bit. How's that one pixel? Let's get it. So one, two, and three. And roughly will be good enough. Uh, still going to try to get it right on there. 42 by 42. So that's probably right. Let's see what we end up when we align it to the grid. Oh, looks good. Looks to have come right into place. And as we scroll up and down along it, it doesn't seem to go off. So that looks about right. Let's drag it down here so we got the upper left corner and the upper left. And it's still nicely lined up. But you can see it gets off here, so we have to fix that. And pull back out and see how. It's one, two, three, four, five grid squares too wide. So let's take it to 20 width. There we go. And I'm going to guess it's probably, I don't know, let's go with 15. Better to overshoot than undershoot. Oops, <laughs> I meant to add 15. I don't know why I did that. So 25 plus 15 is 40. That's something. 40 looks about right. In fact, you can see the uh, little draggy thing here shows that the edge of the map is right there. So that's in there. Um, I'd say I got pretty lucky with that particular one. Usually it takes a little bit of fiddling to do uh, to get it just exactly the way you want it. But I'm, I'm pleased with that. And I personally like to go through and uh, turn the opacity off or just get rid of the grid lines. I like to have the grid on so things can snap to it, but I'd rather not see the lines if I don't have to. Uh, one reason I like to use maps that don't have a grid is because you know, lines are just kind of redundant sometimes. But this one it sort of fits. Uh, maybe these are floor tiles or something. Happens to be exactly five feet each. And in fact, since we did last time, let's go ahead and test this. Um, what do we want? So let's let's bring an orc into the fray here. And everybody at home just saw me do that again. Put the thing on the wrong layer. Bring them up to the token layer and put myself on the token layer. There we go. I want to zoom into a nice hundred percent. See how it fits. Looks about right. Each uh, bed is going to be about twice as long. I mean, if you were to lie down, you'd stretch out on the bed. So I could, if I wanted to, uh. Again, stretch the background map and make the orc one quarter of this size. 
by making each of these grids uh, twice the size. So one square would actually be four squares here. But then we look in. And that orc's looking way too small for that bed. He's uh, what's he doing? He's laying in a giant's bed or something. That's that's weird. We don't want that. He's doing like an odd size, right? Let's imagine if that were the size. Uh, then this grid wouldn't line up without some adjustments to it, and then with that you'd probably want to go change the the value of a grid from five feet to like three feet, and no, too much trouble. Close enough is usually good enough. Your players will forgive, you know, minor uh, minor inconsistencies and errors. And if they don't, um, throw a dragon at them. <laughs> so there we go. There's a good map there. Fifty percent it. Let's see if I can make. One more attempt here. You'll find me a map that doesn't work that easily. There's another one of those pre gen maps that I use. You've seen those before. The way back, okay, that looks. Pretty complicated. Truly riveting YouTube viewing, isn't it? Let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the lobby. And get a high bandwidth computer system. There we go, alright. So this one's a little wider than it is long. Again, try to keep the ratio right. That's off by quite a bit, so it's that, so it's that. That's close. No, no, that'll work right there. It's still off a little bit. Alright, so I don't want to mess with this at all. I'll make it big and then I'll use my undo. So this map is not going to fit just right off the shelf. We've all, I can tell that we're going to have some work to do with this. And yeah, it's got its own grid, so that's going to help. But you notice there's not anywhere, I guess over here, we can pick up some uh, a good 3x3 three three here somewhere. So that's where we'll go. Let's zoom in. Uh, already zoomed in, huh? Interesting. And again, this is on the token layer. Me and my layer issues. Let's go to the back. The map layer. Yeah. Alright, this is as close in as we can get without you know, screwing around with it. So again, let's go to the advanced set dimensions. 9, 10 by 5, 60. It's wider than it is tall. Uh, aligns a grid. And I've got a green in here and see it. Even trickier than the last one because it's so small. Tiny errors need to be magnified. Oops, I almost had it there. Is that good? That's good. So one, two, and three. Right there. 13 by 12. I'm going to err on. 13 by 13, and see what we end up with on that. Well, not bad, not bad. Oops. I drag it into position, use the Alt, and then start looking around. Okay, so this is what I was eyeballing when I filled it in. 
and it looks like it is off in both directions. As you go down, it's off a little bit, and then as you go over, it gets off a little more. So starting here, assuming this were perfect, it looks like the white lines. Again, let's change those. Something a little more contrasting. Search that up on it because it's one reason. There we go. So this map is going to need to be uh, shrunk down. We want the background map to become smaller relative to the uh, the World 20 grid lines. So what we're doing. We're going to advance set dimensions. We're dealing with the width here. The total width is 4,900. So I'm going to change it to 4,800, which is probably way more than I need. And you'll see as these, this line is going to shift over, hopefully. There we go. And let's adjust again right here. And going over, you can see it's very close, but it's still, still just a little bit further. So I'm going to go to advanced, set dimensions, and this time we're going to bring it down instead of 100. Let's go for about 4750. So about half the change we made previously. This is still about right, and that's looking about right. Let's go out even further, and yeah, there, that's, that's pretty close. That's not exactly on, it's close enough. I would accept that. So, looks like we got the horizontal angle down. Let's go for vertical. So, again, as we go down, now this time you can see that the, the map is a little too short. This should be stretched out further to here. Uh, and within just a couple squares, there's a pretty big difference. So we're going to want to change the height quite a bit. I'm fond of round numbers. Let's go up to 3200. Probably an overshoot, but we'll see what happens. No, it's pretty close. Pretty close. So let's bring this in exactly on the line there. It's just going to shift a little bit every time we do that. And yeah, pretty close. It's getting, you can see how it's shifting up a little bit here. So let's try a 25 point shift. So 3175. Come back up to our reference point, make sure it's where we want it. There we go. And I, yes, I forgot that I was going the wrong way. So instead of subtracting 25, I should have added. So 3225. That's looking pretty good there. That looks like it might be a little too far. Yeah, it seems to be uh seems to be growing a little bit. Yeah, I'm off by just like maybe five pixels at this point, but I'm close. So this is good. This is what I want at this this stage. I'm gonna fine tune a little bit more later. Let's zoom out. We're about fifty percent, and. Here we're going to have to switch to um, make the roll 20 map bigger. And let's pop it right in the corner here. All right, it lets me uh, cheat by using the alt key there. And adjust the size. I have no idea what we're wanting. Let's go nice and big at 75 by 75. And we'll take it down, trim it down as we need. All the way to the right, it looks like we're off 3, 6, by 7. Oops, there's a habit there. So if we wait for the 7 too long, we're looking at 68. There we go. And the length, about the length is, there we go. 
height is way off. Let's take about 25 off that. Let's see what happens. There we go. Yeah, I know. I know. I just wanted to make sure I got the uh, upper left corner in the right place, and it is. So we are one, two, three, four off. And that's about right. Let's go ahead and just stretch it in the corner. So we're going to take off four here. And the height, which is what, 46. And there we go, perfect fit. What is this? And looking, uh, nice glance and overview. Everything seems to fit pretty well. This is a little off here, I'm not sure why. Because the grid here looks like maybe they're just using walls or something there. Because the lines are still lining up to the, the map's grid pretty well as we go through here. Well, there we go. That's about done it. We got a pile of skeletons, makes it nice and easy to compare. So let's bring what do we want today? Let's bring uh, more skeletons into the fray. And I really need to stop doing that. <laughs> Get to the token layer. There we go. Nice, all the way into 200. And my skeleton looks relatively proportional to these guys. If you were lying down, that is. You can sit nicely on one of these benches. What else is there to interact with? Um, there's some beds down here. It's about the right size. Bed should generally be about about two standing body lengths. That's how this fits. And the skeleton and his little friends sitting here. They can chat, have a little conversation. Talk. What are you talking about? Oh, just skeleton stuff. There we go. Looks alright. Go here. And you know, the grid isn't exactly perfect. I could probably adjust it. You know, two pixels and get it just right. But again, once you go and turn this off, capacity at least, you can't even tell it's there as far as the tokens are concerned. They're going to be moving around one square at a time, right on the nose. So there you go, that's um, how to align a, uh, a map with the grid on it to the Roll20 grid and bring it in relatively proportional for your players to use. So thanks for watching, uh, leave your comments below and uh, we'll see you, excuse me, I'll see you next time.